Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Empowerment with Elizabeth. Today I'm here with my final sister queen, Lily, and she is Miss Domain at Oxford, and she is going to talk to us today about financial literacy. So Lily, tell us a little bit about yourself. Yes, so my name is Lily Martin. I'm a junior banking and finance and risk management and insurance major at Ole Miss, and I'm initially from Providence, Kentucky, but I currently live in Oxford. I love it. I love it. So why did you choose your CSI of financial literacy? So like I just said, I'm a finance major, and so that's obviously something that I'm passionate about. But I chose it specifically because women are often so left out of the financial planning arena. I hope to eventually become a personal financial planner and work in wealth management. And there's a statistic that actually shows that women are much more likely to leave any savings in cash rather than investing it just because it's so intimidating. And so I want to make investing much more approachable to women and just get them involved in the financial planning sphere and let them know that they can invest and this is something that women need to be doing. Yeah, absolutely. So what is the key to financial success? I think the key to financial success. That's kind of big. I just realized that I asked you like a really big question, but tell us right now. <laughs> so I think I honestly think that it's simple. Mm -hmm. um, compound interest, it it's so powerful. And so the earlier that you start, the more that it's going to build. Mm -hmm. And so there's such a difference if you start investing when you're 20 versus if you start investing when you're 30, because you have those 10 extra years before retirement, and your savings can grow exponentially in that time. Mm -hmm. um, usually, on average, if you are investing in the stock market. It shows that every seven years, your money should double. And so that gives you another one and a half, or it gives you another, it's going to double again. And then it, it's going to almost halfway double one more time. So that was a confusing way, a confusing way to say it. Um, but you're going to end up with a lot more in retirement. And so I think just investing soon, investing early, is I think that's the key. Yeah. So we're both college students. So right now, what can we be doing to set ourselves up for financial success? So I think just making sure that um, you're allocating your spending well. Mm -hmm. It's so it's so easy to overspend in college, mm -hmm. and I mean it's something I'm guilty of too. I know I'm it, like I am a perfect example of that. <laughs> <laughs> Impulse spending it is it's so common and so easy to do. But I think just evaluating your purchases is something that's really easy to do as a college student, and then taking any money that you set aside and investing it and setting a purpose for it and setting goals. Mm -hmm. I think that um, that is something that's very necessary, setting goals for your future self. But other than that, like you said, we're college students, we're broke college students. And so I think if you if you have no funds extra that mm -hmm. you can use right now, I think just educating yourself, mm -hmm. getting yourself educated so whenever you do have that job where you have extra money that you know what to do with it in the future. I love that, I love that. And we're talking about college students, but. Going back to a, you know, our childhood, whenever we had piggy banks, you know, why is the concept of a piggy bank so important? So the concept of a piggy bank is very important because it's a physical structure that encourages saving money. Mm -hmm. And so, I mean, I still think piggy banks are a great idea. The idea of a piggy bank mm -hmm. is still great for older adults because you can physically see yourself putting the bills in. And if you want to make a purchase, you have to break the piggy bank. Mm -hmm. And so you're really making a commitment to it and you're it makes you more inclined to, like I said, not impulse spend and to really mm -hmm. save up towards your big goals. So talk to us about, you know, the value of a dollar. What is it? You know, I, I always hear about y'all, like I'm the worst person to be interviewing Lily right now. You don't even understand because I'm like the gold standard. That's something that I've heard of with finance. So talk to us about, you know, gold standard and the value of the dollar. So the value of a dollar to me is choice. Mm -hmm. Every dollar every dollar that you have is and every dollar that you save is leaves you open to making a decision for future you. Mm -hmm. And so a dollar gives you freedom. Mm -hmm. So I think that's really the value of a dollar. Absolutely. And what you know for our final question, what message do you hope to spread to your generation about financial literacy? I think the, the main message that I want to spread is that investing is for everyone. Mm -hmm. It's not just for these mega multimillionaires that you see. It's for everybody mm -hmm. and everybody needs to be investing. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Lily, for coming on and chatting with us about, you know, finances and how we can be, um, you know, making this topic applicable to ourselves, even just as college students. Thank you. Of course. Of course. And I'll see you all on the next episode. Bye, guys. <laughs>